We thank God for his supernatural power. Amen. I bring you heavenly greetings in Jesus' name. I am still talking about the ability to see. Yet the Yamia say, when it to me, one was so no eh. May the heaven in Chia bro, a war yes to demo. May Gusua a cassafa, the bit to me, a more huna de ye eh. Let's hear the heavens report for today. I created Adam and Eve with my image and likeness. It is my enemies who corrupted them with their evil and rebellious nature. So if you want to be with me, don't let my enemies corrupt you with their demonic characters. Be holy as I am and you will be with me in eternity. Thus says the Lord. Amen. This is Pastor Dr. Kukudazi reporting live from heaven. Yentie and heaven amani bono. Me de me subain ene me seso ene bo Adam ene hawa. Eye matanfu ene di won ni boni ene won eti ati suno e se won. And unti se upe se wune mitna. Me mama tamfu enfa won adamone subaino en se u. Ye krun krun eti se mi. Na wune mi betna afibo. Sedi e eradisi eni. We yo sofu Dr. Kuku Dazi mama ni boa midi free heaven. Last week I showed you the side of God that demons don't want people to know. That is his discipline side. Demons don't want people to understand that God is a disciplinarian father who disciplines his children. Now, what you say, Munu? Mitrao nyanku pon fambia. Adamoni empese nipa ebe hunu. A eye nati nati ne efano. Adamoni empese nipa be ti asyese. Nyamiye ati nati ne ja otinati ne ne ma. But I want you to know that God is the father who disciplines his children as he said in Revelation chapter 3 verse 19 that as many as he loves he rebukes and chastens then so me can't tell you say nyankopon ye ja otenetene ne ma said you can ye e wa disem anwoma no ti miensa chichemu donkru se dudu ona wo do won no wo kan won enim so if you don't want to be disciplined, you don't want to be perfect. You want to remain a spoiled child with demonic characters. You want God to reject you. That is what demons want for your life. They want you to be rejected by God. And unti se um pese ye betne tne wa. Um pese obeye pepepe. Um pese ugusua ye ni pa wa se ya. Adamo ni suba yin soso aye uma. Um pese nyame epo. Sa. En adamo ni pese wabrabono eye. Um pese nyame epo. I told you that church is about gathering holy people for God. People who have demonic backgrounds and have to be cleansed to be holy like God. Me country will say, 
a sorry e fa se e bo abo nipa kronkron anu amanyame nipa wo nkiri eye adamoni na esese wo hohuru wo hu na ma wo beye kronkron etese nyame let me tell you something deep and know who told you church people are like people who come from a thick swampy desert whose feet are dirty so their feet have to be washed the symbolic of it was what the lord jesus did in john chapter 13 verse 5 to 15 the lord knew that spiritually the disciples came from a desert spiritual background so their feet were dirty that was why he poured water into a basin and washed their feet and told them to go and wash other people's feet maminka adebia emudonchero ne hu nipa o kanchero a sorry for it is a nipa o fri a stressor aye to say wora na wo mo na hu nyina aye fi enu nti esese wo hohoro wo nase sa asem nu nsese wo no e na ewrade yesu christo ye ye e wo yohane nwoma no ti dumiansa chichemu num e di kosi dunum na ewrade nim se asuafo no nkiri aye esreso Enu nti na wo mu na hu aye fi. Enu nti na ohohoro wo mu na hu. Na o ka kire wo mu se wo mu soso nko na o mu nko ohoro nipa ena ho no. Yeah. What the Lord wanted the apostle trainees to comprehend was that ministry is about washing the feet of dirty people. It is Dr. Kukudazi who taught you this. The na eradi pese asuma fo na otiti won no ti ase de se osum juma no e fa se ohohoro nipa won na ase aye fi e hu dr kuku dazi ene kire o we therefore if you claim to be a servant of god but you want the feet of your church members who came from a demonic spiritual desert to remain the same without spiritual washing you don't work for the lord jesus christ you want the feet of your church members to remain dirty that is why you don't want to wash their feet spiritually anunti una osie se wo ye nyankopon akoa na mom opese wa sore fo no wo mu fri adamoni esresu sunsunmu wo nasi aye fin no wo pese wo nasi no gusu aye fin wo abra wo huru e ma wo sunsunmu wo nya djuma e ma ewrade yesu christo wo pese wa safu ma no na ho e gusu aye fin enu ntina wo pese sunsunmu wo ba huru no if you really care about the spiritual cleansing of your church members and understand that they have a demonic desert background you will receive spiritual water which is god's word to cleanse them and make their feet clean dr kuku does the taught you this say ufa wasafu manu sunsunmu ahotie pa ho anka obeti asie se wo munchi e ya damo ni esre so enu ntika wo be kwa kwaji sunsun munsio ah ayen nyankopon asem na udi abe hohoro wo munase aba wo munase afi dr kuku does in a chira way because you are demonic and want your followers to remain as they are that is why you want them to go to god's clean palace 
with their dirty feet so that they will be rejected. It sounds like we are dumb on the nipper. Now, Pese said you were chidi for a tieno, or Mumusu and yes, I am Tino. And Muntina, O Pese, or Mudi, or Muna, who fino, a coin and coupon, Nahim Fieno, a hoya fe 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 no, said the Abaya, Yami, a bepoon. Even Mary Magdalene, who was not a pastor, understood what I'm sharing better than today's liberal pastors who don't talk about cleansing and righteousness mm -hmm. in their churches. Mm -hmm. In Mary Magdalene, na onye sofokran, or ti de mitre tre mwen ase, e che ne yi a sofokran, o mwen jay bibi e gumu nwa, o mwen ka a honti e, e ni tre ne e wwan sem e wo, o mwen solimono. Because of the understanding of Mary, the Lord commended her that when he entered the house, none of the people who welcomed him gave him water to wash his feet. But it was Mary who used her expensive perfume to wash his feet. A son in Tiasiana Mary, a one a radi born a basso say, Wabra ni panu no ba a fi hono. Womu bia a man in siu a woro ni nasi. Na a ye mary, and a di ningwa na ye duyam pa no, a ho horo ni nasi. That is the deep symbolic secret that the Lord Jesus wants me to reveal to you. When a nina saw a hintasam cassia pie mudoa, a radi pese medanedi editro. If any pastor is preaching it and does not refer it to me, know that he stole it from me. Se sophobia a canwasem, Nessa wan cassemina mekaya, who said, Oh, we are free meho. Understand as a church goer that. It is the responsibility of your pastor to wash you clean spiritually. Tia se se asori ko ni se eye usofu asu di se o behu horo uhu sunsu mu ama uhu afi. So if he says you should be left alone and no one should discipline you, know that. He is not God's servant. He works for demons. That is why he doesn't want you to be spiritually clean before God. And this all can say, Ye nyao, na mema obia enchi wa soa. Ti asye se, o nye nyan kupon akwa. O ye jumama adamoni. And nun tina om pese sun sun mono. He wants you to remain dead spiritually so that God will reject you. It's from this backdrop that I want churchgoers to comprehend that if you want to be with God in eternity, understand that you have a demonic desert background. Your feet are dirty with demonic dust. So your feet, which are your spiritual path, have to be cleansed. A free sign in a so inti, and I'm a person circle forty as you say. So person in your coupon tan a fiboa. And yet, as you say. Unchi eya adamoni esreso. Na adamoni anya ama onase ayefi. Enu nti onase noa eye usunsun mu kwae no. Esese ye uhuru hon. So be in the church where the pastor talks about holiness. That can make you spiritually clean 
for God to accept you. And unti dom asoria or sofu no kan krun krun ye kwansem. Ah, a bet to me a ma wwa fi sum sum na man yame a jiwatum. If you don't do this, but you don't care of the church you belong to, you don't understand what church is about. And demonic preachers can easily fool you. So why in your way? Na em fahu a sorry a ube domwa. Unti a sorry a si. Na damon in sempaka fo ebe jimi u ewo fo so kra. If you are a woman and your pastor tells you that wearing artificial long hair and makeup and the long nails of Jezebel are all nothing, he is either an ignorant person who doesn't know who Jezebel is and does not qualify to preach to people because he doesn't understand spiritual things or he is a demonic agent who wants you to remain the same and unclean so that God will reject you. So we are back. Now we saw for catch that we say. So we share a wee tin 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 nobi. Now the near maki kaki kwa nim now more a tin 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 to say Jezebel and Yahweh. Say yes, a sofu no, or ye nipa, or nimidi. Na o nim Jezebel no. Said you sit here. Na nunti. On fata se, o kenyam sem echre nipa. E sanse, on tisun sumu asem asia. Enye na o ya damon ye siya ne munia. O pese se ni o tiye no. Sana o gusu tiye. Wabra o huwa ye fin. Said ye be ya nyame ebepo. If a pastor is from God. And knows who Jezebel is, he will not tell church ladies to dress and appear like her. So, so will be free, yami. And on name Jezebel said, You sit here. On country, I'm sorry, my bow. I say, One sees you, one who now one down one who did at his own appearance or spiritual identity matters. And there is a big difference between God's children and the children of the devil. That was what I told you last week and talked about character. Ahunsu, and he said, Yeah, soon, 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 obesity, and oh, yeah, papa, 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 papa. Now, and soon, soon, I can see and so that, and you can't come back, and you can't come back, and you can't come back, and you can't come back. Me can't want some trail. Now, me say can't survive want some. Today, let me pick adornments. In Proverbs chapter seven verse ten, it is stated that there was a woman with an attire of a harlot and a crafty heart. What does that imply? It implies that. The woman's dressing and appearance depicted who she was and what she was into. That she was a harlot. That was why she dressed like that. She had a crafty heart to lure men. So your appearance can tell who you are. Someone's adornments an appearance can tell who that person is mm -hmm. and the spirit that is within him or her. And ne, my men fa ahun si si wansem. Wo me busem tin sun chiche mu eduno. Wa chro se na obel bi wo ha na o she two two four ana be si four ma atadi na o wo na da akuma. No, 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 a chase. A chase. O barna who see a sea and said you sit down, who are dino. A chase nippa, na oye. Any dear na, o womu and so so. Say, not we two two ni, and our best in niba. 
anuntina osiesie no sa na na osan so so na da akoma obetumi edi ade de mema na che se wa ho siesie no e kire nipa ya wo ye obi a ho siesie ani se de osi dan ne ho adi no ebetumi a kire nipa su a o ye ani ho hum ko a etisa nipa no emu Therefore, if your pastor tells you that it doesn't matter how you dress, he doesn't know anything spiritually and he doesn't qualify to preach. And until you say, 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 by describing the woman that she had a crafty heart, it explains clearly that you dress according to your heart desires, according to what is in your heart. Se oda oba ne di se na owo enada akuma no e chire chire mu pefe se e jina wakuma so apedi eso. A jina de wo wakume mu eso. So if your pastor says that Christianity is about your heart and not about what you wear, and you also accept that, this is my question to you. And know who asked that question. What is in your heart that makes you dress like a whore and like Jezebel? Dr. Kuku does he ask that question? And until so we saw for catch there, we say, Christo sum die, and no one who come, ne mo nye ni ewe she, ne se unso so uji tu musa ha. Masem bisa, mi bisa uni. Weye mi ha masem bisa. Me se, e die be ne o wakume mo ha, e ma u siye siye hu ti se tu tu ni ba ha, e ti se je izi be no. Dr. Kuku does in a bizarre assembly. Surely, it is Jezebel who is in your heart. Yeah. That is why you have dressed like her. It is the demon of lust in you. That is why you dressed lustfully to attract men. No credit. Hey, Jezebel, let you walk with me, Muntia. I don't know what she said. I don't know. E ya kono da moni ne wo mu. E nun ti na wo siye siye hu wa kono kwa iso. Se de be ya be chim me ma e di aba wo mche. If you say that Christianity is about your heart and you have the Holy Spirit in your heart, you will dress in a godly way to please the Holy Spirit who is in you. You will not dress like a whore. So who can say, Christo sum die, e no ane wakume mu, ne se uwa hum kum kum wo mua. Ube siye siye uwa hum wo nyame sum kwa iso. E di a so, nyame hum kum kum wo ti umu no ene. Un siye siye hum ti se tutu ni ba. Dressing like a whore implies that the Holy Spirit is not in you. It is Jezebel who lives in you. That is why you like dressing like her. Who says you want to say two two ni and now be seen in ban? I see a dress of um crum crum tumu. A ye jazzy bell netumu. An empty now person who says you want it is on. So if any pastor doesn't care of how his church members dress or appear. He doesn't know anything spiritually. Hmm. He is being used by demons to deceive ignorant people hmm. or people who don't want to change hmm. so that you go to hell. Then it is all so for being far quiet. Now, so for man who says, or who are now down or who are or nimshe is soon soon. A ya damn in a air fan so the other than nipa or nimidi. And now say nipa won pese obese san. Say de beya won beko janwa enum danum. 
If you really want to be with God, I cannot fathom why you want to be in a church where there is no discipline. And to the pastor, appearance of church members does not matter. Mm. I cannot fathom that. Say, who pese o ninyan kupon tina pa? Mentia siye se, who pese o kwa tina soria atini atini biye ni emu. Na sofu no susu, e patre se, e kwenye asafu manu, e bedan wo mu huwa di biya anu, e mfa honu. Mentia siye sa. You will really care of the church to belong to and the pastor to follow. Nukreni, the befa upa, afa sorry, I obey dumb, and the soft ones are obey dinner chins or so. Because I've told you that demons want people to be left alone without any discipline so that they will be rejected by God. That is the demonic secret. It sounds a macache, I will say. A damn money per se, a giant nipasa, or a brian trinity won. Said the abeya in your coupon, a bepu won. And no ne a damn money a hintasem. As I said early on, God rebukes and chastens his children because he does not want his children to be spoiled with demonic characters. Said the Ashasian Mikayan, Nyanku Pon can the man name a chimo and so. A son said, On Pesse, Nema a Besse, a war a damn on Ebu. That was also the reason that Apostle Paul told Timothy to rebuke and exhort the church people with all long suffering in Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. And non swan in your son tear. A mouse muffle poor catch the Timothy said. On to a sorry for any foe. No fa a budu cherry pa and cow on him. A war Timothy woman toss me no, a tea nine teacher mommy no. Listen, all scripture which is from the inspiration of God is profitable for doctrine. For reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, as stated in Second Timothy chapter three, verse sixteen. T. Atro nina a efri nyangu pon Kenya imono. A yeman chere enkani mu atini atini eni trene kwa ya ebe chere chere ose fasono ehu. Said the watchman, "Timothy, woman, we toss him in. No, ti me and son, chiche mo don't see no." God's children are taught how to live a godly and holy life. Are rebuked when they go wrong, are corrected when they make mistakes, and are instructed about righteous life. They are not left alone. Nyanku pon madie, ye chre chre won fa e kwanya, e be fa soa, o be transi wo nyam som kwanso. E ne abrabo kron kron e mou. Se, wo ye mfum soa, ye ka wo manim. Se, wo chia soa, ye chre chre won. Na ye chre chre won fa, chre ne abrabo hon. Na ye njaye wo mousa. Therefore, any pastor, who allows people to do what they want, does not rebuke church people when they are going astray, does not correct them when they go wrong, and does not instruct them about God's righteous way, is not God's servant. He is a human pleaser. And until you suffer, O jai me ni pa ye de ope. Nese a sorry for no e fum kwen kwa. On ka wo mo nim. Nese wo chian soa. On tre tre wong. Na on tre tre wong fanyan kupon tre ni kwa so no. 
onye nyame akwa oye obi a oso nipa eni he is a hypocrite who pleases people for money oye nyatwum ni a oso nipa eni se de be ya o de he is not looking for people who want to change and be holy like god on fi fe ni pa o mo pese o mo sisa na o mo ye kron kron atise nyame that is why all the pastors who are like that allow people to do what they want in their churches and don't discipline anyone such pastors don't know god and his principles and unti na software ti sa ni nyina no o mu jai ma ni pa ye de o mu pe e wo mu nsori ni mu no na ontwe obi aso no sa software no o mu nim nyame ene na shishe ye at home such pastors are weak and irresponsible fathers they are controlled by their wives their children are spoiled because he allows them to do whatever they want wo fie no sa sofo no ye ejanu mo a wo mo emre na so die bia na wo mo so wo mo yire no e na xe wo mo so wo mo ma sei isanse o ja o mo e mo bia ye de ope such men are emotionally weak and don't know how to train children same man wa tinkamun wo ma mbre na wo mo nim se de esi etete e makra i want you to know that such men were not called by god because god does not call weak men to lead his children me pese wo hu se nyame am fere sa me man e san se nyame m fere me ma wa mre se o me di ni ma enim they will spoil his children because such men don't understand the authority and discipline of a father o mo be se ni ma e san se sa me ma no wo mo nti eja atene atene to me as it Listen, when the prodigal son left home and went on his way without the fatherhood authority or any head over his life, look at how his life became. He lived wantonly and spent all that he had until he realized that he had made a big mistake. He needed the fatherhood discipline over his life. That was why he went back home to be under the authority of the father. From there, things changed again in his life. Ti wa bra oba de self no frefie na ofa odo ankasa ne kwan so. Wa bra na eja to me ana se peyini bia ni na bra boso no hwede na bra bo no ekoye ye o bo ehuhu bra e se di e no wina ko si se o no ankasa o hu se wa ye mfum so kasi e pa na na o hia eja etene atene e wo na bra bo mu sa bre no e no san ko fie e ko se ni ja to mi ase e free ho ko no de so if you claim to be a spiritual father but you don't understand discipline you don't understand the role of a father and god does not call weak men who don't understand him to pastor his children and until now see say we soon soon eja na unti atini atini asia unti jumedia ejakura di ase na nyame mfrem mema wa mre na wonti na se no se 
wo meye ne masofo and church members who don't want to be disciplined don't want to be perfect the way god wants them to be and that will not take you into the kingdom of god now asafo manso won pese ye be twen aso ana ye be tetre won won pese wo be ye pepe pe akosi e kwan a yakopon pese wo mu ye no eso ne no no en fa won ko nyame ahende mu if such people want to be with god they will understand that because they have a demonic background they need a pastor who is spiritually strong to deal with that and correct their mistakes and let them throw away every demonic character so that they will become the perfect people that god wants them to be yeah say sani pa no pese oni yakopon tena pa anko obeti ase se e san se wonchi e ya adamu ni nti no ohia software sunsum wo den a obetumi aye sadie ne ho adwuma na watretre won e won fum so ehu na ma watu adamu ni suban nyina agu se de ebe ya obe ni papepepa yakopon pese wo ye no if you are a pastor or a church goer and you don't like discipline some worldly women reason better than you because some worldly women say that they don't like weak men who allow them to do what they want they want strong men who correct their mistakes and not spoil them so that they can be perfect such women are very sincere they can be perfect in marriage they know that they have flaws so they want strong men who can change them if such a woman becomes a christian under a disciplinary pastor it will not be difficult for her to change to be a better person Say we are sorrowful, and now sorry, Kony. Now we need G at in a ten one. A man be cry, we are sick, cry, and almost doing a year. If we are sick, four man be can say, "One month per member, one month per." I will be just one month. I'm a one month yet. One month per. One per member, we need a ding. Say the bear, I'll be three three one. I will one phone so one. Now one say one. Obeseo ye nipa o ye pepepe. Sa ama anu. O kano kre. Wa wari ye munu. Obe tumia ye ma papapa. O nimse o wonfumso. Anunti o pe mema. O eni ye dina. Obe tumia ase sa wong. Anunti se sa o ba anu. Obe ye kristo ni wo sofo o triti ni papa ase ya. And you need to cross or be sister, not obey any papa. But most of today's church people are the opposite of such women. Now, so so nay, I'm sorry for no. Omo e sa mbani chabuto. They are people who don't want to be disciplined. That is why they like pastors who leave people alone to do what they want. We are nipa, one pe atine atine. I don't think no many jia software umu jai nipa, ma umu ye di umu pe no. Today's church people are like a woman who doesn't want to change, so she looks for a weak man she can manipulate, so that she can have her way. And nay, I'm sorry for no. Umu tisa obebi ya umu pe sa obesi sa. Anunti oko pe be ma wa mre. A obe tu mi a defe defe no no a home ne so. Se di ebe ya obe ye di ope. Such a woman will prevent her husband from disciplining her children. Sa oba no. 
obesi ni kunu kwan se o mane ntretre ni ma ana onche ni maso get close to the children of such a woman and you will see how spoiled they are get to the kitchen of such a woman and you will see how dirty she is tell such a woman to cook for you and you will regret what she will bring that is how today's church people are ben sa obarima na obehun se di o ma sei pa ko sa obanu jade na obehun se di en hu fi pa ka chire sa obanu se onye duane ma na di odi be ba no o be nu sa ne nei a sore fo no tie they are disorganized irresponsible and flawed people who don't want to change o ye ni pa wa bra bona ye basa na su die bia na wo mu so a mfum so a ye wo ma wo mpese wo besisa they are members of the christian freedom party <laughs> so they want to be free without any discipline they want to be in a liberal church and be left alone. Omo ye nipa, omo dom a Christopher, a kuwa a friend of Christian Freedom Party. A ope se, o ye di ope. A ope ya enche wansu. Ope se o tina soria, ye jai niye me ina gum, mo ope ya ye di ope. Emo. And my point is, if you want to be left alone, why do you go to church? Eh? No ma se mi se. So pesi e ja o sa. Any identity na o kwa sori. Stay at home. Don't be among people. Don't have friends. Don't marry. Don't go to school. Don't work for anyone. You should have come into this world by yourself and not be bound by anyone. The best place for you is the cemetery. There you can have your peace and be left alone. Now my son be saying, say, so pesie ja o dia. I didn't eat now kwa sorry. Trafie men fa un ko fra fra ni pe ku bi a. Men fa ayonko, men ware, men kosuku, men koye juma emo biya. Ne wiasi hampo, anka ose ka wawo be wiasi ha, na ma ubiya ngu. Na be biya ye ma upa, e ye siye ye. E sanze hodye, ube nya wasumye. I cannot fathom why, you want to be in a group of people, but you want to do what you want. Eh? You don't want any rule, any regulation, any correction over your life. Eh? You want to do what you want. Why do you want to be in a group of people then? Ask yourself if it is possible to live in this world with that character. Minti asye se, upe sa wudu un fra fre ni pe kuo. Nan so so, upe sa wye diye upe. Na emra, en shisheye, eni atina tini biya ha, ema wabrabom. Ne mom, upe sa wye diye upe. Minti asye se, upe sa wuko dipen. I always say that, even in the animal kingdom, there are rules and discipline. Debi ya me kase, empo wa mwadume mukrano, emra, eni atinatene wa. Animals play by their species and don't trespass in the territories of the vicious blood-sucking predators. Emwano, edi agro, etipen, etipen. Na, wamu nyemfumsu okra, Enko bebiya, 
ebua no a omu trimu ye din a omu no mmoja na fakra i am telling you that if you don't want to be disciplined you are a demonic person because it is demons who don't discipline their children they allow their children to do what they want so that they will destroy the children of other people through friendship me catch them say so um person e be twi wonso ana e be tintene wa we are demon in nipa e san say ya demon e na entwe om ma aso we jai om ma e mo om ye de om pe say de be om de om be bo afofro ma na o ma say om nso the demonic indiscipline is the origin of the marine queens on earth adamoni atini atini awon pe no i know na akofa sa e poase ahiman fo no abawiase ha no some women are spoiled queens who touch nothing and do nothing such women don't want to be corrected because of the marine queens in them ema binum ya hima o ma seya wo mu nan kan wo mu san kan na o mu nyahwe sa ma no mpese e betin tin wo na e betin awo e sa a hima no a etititi wo mu ni ti it is demons who have made them so and want them to bring their spirit characters into the house of god to destroy people that is why such women hate discipline i will continue next week god willing eya damoni ena ye o musa ena o pese o di won suban na apro no ba nyankopon fie na o be sey enipa kanzo enu nti na sa ma no mpe atinatene nya me ya do ma da sene me ba beto amasem so if you want to be with god love his discipline because his discipline will lead to your salvation in jesus name amen amen so pese woni nyankopon tena do na tena tena isan se na tena tena no ene de be ko won kwagye mu e wo yesu dinti amen If you want to be saved by my Lord Jesus Christ give your life to him by praying this prayer with me and after that come to church and let me train you how to live a holy life to please him So pese unyankwa fa homa mira Yesu Christo wa bra woni me bo sampa ye na nu achi ne bra sorry na me ntiti o kwan a Lord Jesus. I thank you for speaking to me today. I accept that I am a sinner. But from this day forward, I believe in my heart. And confess with my mouth that Jesus you are the only lord Jesus unko awoni erade forgive me of all my sins fami boni ina hache and write my name in the book of life natural me di e wo unko awoma let your holy spirit dwell in me ma ho 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 metna me mu and i will live a holy life to please you na me bo abrabo kron kron ashe we nya thank you for saving me that was sick, so I gave it. in jesus name oh yes you did. amen amen father thank you for speaking to people for them to know that you are a disciplined father you want the best for their lives so that they will run to you for their salvation in jesus name amen amen that nesu nyami shao pa 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 Oni adofu a utie yen 
Eye AP Radio 105.7. Ya papa Dr. Kukudazi Efri. Eno wadi nyami ya semi kriji free e susu e breo. Sabu shishe ya chila kwa ina pesodi ya besuma. Ya wakasi main road. Na main road yunu. Aba tuwanuo binkunsua ni fansu. Feeling station se chua chua suno. Feeling station ya tosu minu. E kwa ina ni nchimu. Ni fansu. E sani kofomu. Ufafomu wa waka kusifomu chwa yenko bebi yebi yu be holy land ewo ho bo rem enda no pe esom ne ye no nkron na ukuada eni fiada enwume no nson ye be si program yi su biu na ukuada so enwume no nom ne fa eye bible ade sua eni fiada enwume no nom ne fa so eye mpaibo ne ne papa sama o kai eti se dia ye de wa ko school se ko sua de School na wako nu uko suye ni mdiye Ape certificate di akwe ye juma Na di abo bra Sana ye di wako tu e jume bi muse kusuye jume biya Na e juma na ye du uko tu muno Uko suye juma no Na wankasa we wia po hu Enya wansanu e juma Na usu di abo bra Na sa wu kwa aswari ya Wajini mu uko kwa se ya mkwa tine tine hu Enfri efi ene anwa mwani suwa Ube to mu Said ye papa chile mun se ye na se a ye fi a te che ni ni ma ni ke kawa ye ye ho e nu ti a si ho fri ye ho ti ye a sorry a me ko no e ho se mi nyansa o ji ye no e ni nchire chila me ti mi a ma me hon te ma ko o suru suru a ye me hon e san se sa o hon te a un ti mi nkone ko ye ja o suru nche e na un ti mi su hon no ne mom a sorry a me kwa a me pe oji ene ya ahote uno me sofo se me nya de me pe bia mo bia enka me nim mo bia ntretre na me ya me nam ho a me sakra na se ma sakra na mi wu a ehi fa na me ko odofo se che wi ya mate osofo bia me nyi twi ni adwa me fa ho na sori bretenti ya ba e na me fa ho ni padom egu ni ni branch sa wo Osofobia wa si miye disipline ubi wa sorry. Na sorry no omu ti se di omu te. Omu dresi kuna anu eche ewi ase fwo di enu. Osofu anu bonsam na abo ne pa. Ahu humwane etu mi inu wani ye jimu. Enu ti se upe unkwa. Nyami obo osro ba asasi obi bu ya te enu. Wasi wantre. No wa anye kukunkwa me mani nche. En ti se upe se okwa ni nche endia. Jani frisa asori nu. No amu da da amu. Isa nse wamu peni paso di amu wamu master bo nsa mni ahu mwani ya wama suma wamu. Enu nti onka. Na wansu ni panu. Se wupo nji ya miye tine tine. Anye sabi ya. Na wosu wuku aswe di amu wako se krofo. Yami isha ye papapa. Uwa nche chile ya. Wadi eche eche ye wimri. Amen. Amen mama. So beloved. That is what God is doing. Is breaking all the things that demons have put on people and setting captives free. That is why he wants me to tell the whole world. And that is what the program that we are doing is about. That with God, all things are possible. God bless you.